I'm gonna do one more. I, I, I was really, I don't know how it started, but as soon as my daughter was conceived, I had this sense that there was a person there waiting to. You know, it wasn't someone that was going to become, it was a person. And I started talking to her in the womb, and I used to sing to her and talk to her and play digital and all this kind of stuff. And her mom was up for it, obviously. I didn't have to tie her mom down to it uh, just as well. That had been pretty hairy. Um, but then I found out later on, this is what Aboriginal people do all the time, is they talk to the children all the time, as if they're fully formed people, persons, ready to interact with them. So when people talk about child rearing, it's a farming term. You rear animals. So I'm going to do one last little song. And I wrote this one for my daughter, and then I realized, actually I'm writing it for everyone, but I did write it for my lovely, beautiful daughter, her friend Helene is here, and um, I love her so much. <laughs>
that's a pattern that break it, my friend, before it comes round again. Keep on moving, keep on moving along. I watch you grow strong. CD and there's a CD that's got the general stuff and then it's got the loop station stuff. And if you don't want to do all that, that's all right. All my music is on the internet. And I'm currently involved in a campaign worldwide to bring together all the information of people who've survived abuse and to confront society with the many ways that society abuses children in order to build society. That's my work. And I have a blog and I'm writing a book and the book is called Natural Child, Natural Society. And I'm finishing it this winter. It'll be out sometime next year. And uh, that's where all this is coming from. So thank you for your time. And uh, if you do get what I'm talking about, Come and have a look at what I'm saying and kind of investigate it. Don't take my word for it. Look into it. And if you find a resonance with it, then start to share it with other people in your own lives and, and bring, make it real. Because all the next year when I've written a book, I'm going to go to Greenpeace and all these movements and I'm so going to say to them, I'm going to confront them and say, if you don't start talking about how we condition children in this society, which leads to the kind of people who become CEOs, policemen, military and all the rest of it, Whose side are you really on? You know, wake the fuck up, because it has to be said. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, do what you love. Applaud excellence. Cornelius!